Hi, I'm Gary Hamill. Welcome to the Management 2.0 Hackathon, harnessing the power of the web to reinvent management. In this groundbreaking initiative, you're being invited to join a group of other inspired innovators in hacking management, in reinventing the core processes by which our organizations are run. And we're going to do that by applying some of the new principles that we see at work on the web. You know, it's interesting, the web has already dramatically changed operating models, logistics, supply chains, customer support through CRM systems and ERP systems, and now with analytics. We also see how the web has changed business models, spawning new web-based uh, companies like Amazon, Facebook, and Twitter. But we believe the web has an equal power to change our management practices, the way we allocate resources, create our strategies, set direction, evaluate performance, uh, uh, distribute power in our organizations, make decisions, and so on. If you think about it, management is one of humankind's most important technologies. It encompasses the methods and the tools we use in our organizations every day to organize and mobilize resources to productive ends. In a way, management is the technology of human accomplishment. But those management practices that we find in our organizations, they're all built on a set of 100-year-old principles. Principles of standardization, specialization, hierarchy, alignment, conformance, and the use of extrinsic rewards to motivate people. And those principles all answer to one primary purpose. How do you build organizations that are deeply disciplined and highly efficient? And that's always going to be important, but today we need organizations that are more than merely disciplined and efficient. In a world of breakneck change, we need organizations that are highly adaptable, that are as nimble as change itself. In a world of hyper-competition, we need organizations that can innovate all the time, everywhere. Where innovation is not a sideshow, it's not something that happens despite the system, occasionally, maybe even by accident, but something that's really a deeply embedded capability, the work of every single person, every single day. In a world where knowledge itself rapidly commoditizes, we need employees and team members who are willing to come to work each day and are eager to bring the gifts of their initiative and their creativity and their passion and focus those things on creating new knowledge, on inventing solutions to humanity's most pressing problems. Finally, we need organizations that are more accountable. There's a good reason that around the world, people have lost trust in society's largest and most important institutions. Too often, those institutions seem to have been run for the benefit of their own leaders or of the shareholders, but not for the benefit of society at large. We need to change that. Every management process, system, and value should support a broader sense of social accountability. Now again, what's kind of amazing is that the web already is highly adaptable, a platform for innovation, enormously inspiring and engaging, and also is pushing a lot more accountability into organizations. So in some ways, the web already embodies a lot of the characteristics that are so notably absent from our organizations. Hence, this hackathon. And the focus on taking the principles of the web, finding the web's alternatives to standardization, specialization, all those old principles, but finding, uncovering the new principles that are fueling the social revolution that we see on the web, and then asking ourselves, how do we take those principles and embed them inside of our organizations? How do we use them to change the way the work of managing, leading, organizing, structuring, how all of that gets done. I think this is an historic opportunity to get involved in inventing Management 2.0. If you are frustrated by the petty rules, the pedestrian goals, the pyramidal structures in your organization that seem to drain, up, uh, drain it of its vitality, that seem to limit its adaptability and its capacity to innovate, then I would encourage you to get involved in this initiative Bring your passion, bring your heart, your understanding of what's going on on the web to the challenge of building organizations that are truly fit for the future and truly fit for human beings. Mm -hmm.